the 30th of January. It's quite cold. It's below freezing, probably about minus one, frosty. And the plan is to go down to Welling Garden City, Hartford area. This is an area I haven't been to before. Uh, so it's going to be quite a long flight, maybe two and a half hours, um, about 70 miles. So we've got the full tank and uh, ready to go. Ah, uh, never mind Gary, trikes can be quite tricky to launch. So it's 8.30 in the morning, um, as I said it's cold and frosty. I'm going to take off and hang around, wait for the guys. There's quite a few of us at the field today, it's probably, I think there's seven people, so it's probably a record number. Bearing in mind it's January, so there's everyone down there ready to go. Uh, I'm up first for a change, and uh, I'm just going to kind of hang around and wait for the guys to launch. So I think some of them have some issues, so I decide to carry on, uh, get some altitude up to about 4,000 feet, but as I'm flying south I can't stay up there for too long. We have um, Luton airspace not far away, so I'm going to descend right down to, I think I'm flying about 1,000 feet, something like that now. So this here is St Edmunds College, which is England's oldest Catholic school, uh, has students aged 3 to 18. And so now arriving at a place called Ware in Hertfordshire and on my way over to Hertford, that's Hertford in the distance. Hertford's the county town of Hertfordshire and grew around a ford on the River Lee, just down there below. And settlements were established on either side of the ford in Hertford in 913 AD. And there was a castle, I didn't actually know about the castle till I landed, but there is a castle here which was built in 1066. Never been, maybe I'll go down there one day, it seems like quite a nice place from the air. So not far from Hartford is Welling Garden City, one of the first new towns in Garden City designed to be the perfect town. And the build started in 1920. So Garden City is supposed to be surrounded by a rural belt and the whole of the land being in public ownership. So nearby to Welling is the Digswell Viaduct, which is a railway viaduct. It has 40 arches, uh, 1500 feet long and is grade two listed. The viaduct was built in the 1850s. So as I said earlier, the flight was quite long, about 70 miles, uh, took two and a half hours. Now it was kind of weird, I landed with six litres of fuel. As I'm coming into land at, at uh, Little Granston, it seems quite busy. A couple of micro lights ready to take off. There's also a plane about to taxi, so I need to be careful as I'm coming in. So those micro lights are taking off, plane is taxiing. I'm slightly high here, so I'm just going to do a little turn down that hedge line and then do a tight turn to lose some altitude, switch my engine off and come in for a landing. Hi mate, it's all happening. Yeah, Making an exit. Um, Way. How do? All right. All right. Yeah, great. A bit cold. Hi, oh, Jez. How are you doing? So as I said earlier, I landed with six liters. Took off with probably just over 15, so just under 10 liters used in total. And um, if you enjoyed that, hit the like button, helps other people find the channel. If you want to see some more photos, there's a link in the description. Thanks for watching.